In this video, you will learn alternative ways to enter commands such as through dynamic input that provides a command interface near the cursor in the drawing area. This is a short tutorial to explain how to use the dynamic input tool. Down at the bottom of your screen, you have some drawing aids. If anyone is unhappy with these modern icons then that have been used, you can always right click and choose to uncheck the user icons option which takes it back to the more traditional look. You can see here, the dynamic input is currently switched on. I start to draw a line, you'll see that you are given both the length and angle. The key to using this tool properly is the tab key on your keyboard. Hitting tab once takes me across the tab. Angle tab again takes me back to the length. So tapping is the key. I type in let's say 35 degrees, don't enter but tap again, it takes you back to the line distance. You'll see now that the line is locked on 35 degrees and I can type in a distance and enter. Hopefully, this is helpful to anyone who is struggling with this icon.